Good morning, class. Good morning, teacher. Okay. So our topic for today is use adverbs of place in sentences. For our objectives, we have we have at the End of the lesson, the student should be able to identify adverbs of place used in the sentence. Second, apply adverbs of place in the sentence. And lastly, compose or create basic sentence using the adverbs of place. Okay, good morning again. Before we're going to start our lesson, let us pray first. Okay. Jag los amisto amistoso, may you lead the prayer? Okay, teacher. In the name of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not tend to deliver, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, we will going to check your attendance. Say present if you are here. Let's start. Oh, let me call first the boys. Amistoso Jags. Present, ma'am. Mark. Present teacher. Liam. Present teacher. Kai. Present ma'am. Kyle Mercado. Present teacher. For the girls, we have Jiwei Auditor. Present teacher. Maria. Present teacher. How about Monica? Teacher, present. Okay, so no one is absent. Very good. Okay, so how was your weekend? It was great, teacher. It, that's that's good. Have you enjoyed your weekend bonding um with your family? Of course, yes, teacher. teacher. It, it was, was lots of fun. fun. Okay, so as we go on to our uh, formal and very interesting discussion, I want you to know uh, first that we have an agreement that should be followed or my rules in class. First one would be sit properly. Second is to listen and participate to the discussion. And third would be raise your right hand if you want to answer. Is that clear? Yes, yes teacher. teacher okay so we had already finished discussing about adverb of time before we move on to the next topic let us have recall of what is adverb of time so what is adverb of time yes Jiwei auditor yes teacher um adverb of teacher adverb of time and how often the action happens teacher okay very good how about jack lucero can you give me an example yes teacher i know julie yesterday okay very good so adverb of time tell us when an action happened is that clear yes teacher okay yes, so teacher. so do you know the game uh do you know the game four picks one word so we will have a game first so yes, teacher. Yes. So we are going to play this game. So class will be divided into four. So each group will be given an illustration board and chalk. So choose your group um, leader and each leader, leader will be the one 
who will write and raise their answer. Is that clear? So our mechanics of the game is the group who raise first with the correct answer will be given two points. So one point to those who raise correct answer. So only and no points to raise with wrong answers. Understand? Yes, okay. teacher. Start the game. Yeah. In the first picture, what is this? Me, teacher. Jags Amistoso, what is in the first picture? That is cool. Very good. Let's see if your answer is correct. Very good. Your answer is is correct the answer on the first picture is called cool okay let's have the second picture how about it the second picture what is that teacher me teacher okay me, me. let's have chiwe <laughs> It's a church teacher. Church. Okay, let's see if your answer is correct. Very good. Your answer is correct. The second picture is called church. How about in the third picture? How about Mark? That is park teacher. Okay, let's see if it is a park very good. You answer it correctly. The answer is park. In the fourth picture, let's have Liam. The fourth picture teacher is hospital. Uh, let's see if your answer hospital is correct. Good job. Your answer on the fourth picture is hospital. Great job. Very nice. I am very pleased you were able to finish the task given. Oh, there's another big picture. How about that one, um, Kyle? The fifth picture teacher is Beach. Okay, let's see. Okay, you are correct, Kyle. The answer in the fifth picture is Beach. Very nice. I am very pleased uh, you were able to finish the task given to you. All of you got the correct answer. So each group will have 10 points. So, um, Jax, what have you noticed with the picture? They're all named places, sir. Very good. Okay, so in the next, um, we will have another group activity and remain with your group. I will show you a video clip so each group will find, uh, will find word name of places or answers the question where. I am, am I, am I clear? Yes, sir. Yes, teacher.
Okay. So, um, Jags, what have you observed on the video clip? It tells as a piece of things belongs teacher. Okay, so how did you identify that those highlighted words refers to place? How about Liam? It answers, it answers the question, teacher. Very Okay, can you hear me, everybody? Okay. Let me check if the record, okay. Record the job. I'm sorry for the internet connection, students. Okay. Okay, so where are we? Okay, so what do you think will be our topic today? How about Noah? We have a clue teacher based on our first activity. Okay, very good. So our topic today is all about um, adverb of place. So what is adverb of place? Let's have Chi Wei. Teacher, a verb of place tells us where the where the action happened, teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, adverb of place tells us where something happened or the action is done. Okay, let's have examples. Okay, let's have here example number one. The park keeper drops the shovel on the trolley. So where where the park keeper is dropped the shovel? How about Jags? It's it's on the trolley, teacher. Very good. In the next picture, the kids play ball behind the trees. Where the kids play ball? Auditor. Behind the trees, teacher. Very good. In the next picture, Matthew and Martin are near the garden. Where Matthew and Martin are, Monica? Uh, near the garden, teacher. Okay. In the fourth picture, Bert keeps the ball under the bench. So, where Bert keeps the ball, how about a mark? Teacher, it's under the bench. Okay. So, who has another example of adverb of place? Can you give me Kyle? Teacher, the book is on the table. Okay, very good. Okay, for your application, I think um na sabta ninyo. So let's go to your application. So let's do an activity again. Please remain with your group. I will give you a scramble words and uh you are going to arrange it and form into a sentence and identify the adverb of place. Example. Can you see the example on the screen? Yes, teacher. Okay. We have here went up, jack, hill, in the, and hill. So the answer would be Jack and Jill went up the hill. Did you get that? 
Yes, teacher. For group teacher. one, um, group amistoso. Could you read number one? Number one, studying tree under the girl is the. Okay, what is your answer, group one, in number one? Our answer, teacher, is. Again, I cannot hear you. The answer, teacher, is the girl is studying under the tree. Okay, how about in number two? Yes, teacher. Our... Amistoso group. Liza put her shoes on the table. Very good. Group one got the correct answer in... Group number two, we have Maria's group, number one and number two. Oh, no. Maria's group. The slide is not moving, teacher. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. How about yes, teacher, that one? It is visible now, teacher. Yes, teacher. It's okay, teacher. We will answer, teacher. Yes, you read the first the word and your answer. So the words are room is Anna her outside. So our answer for number one is Anna. Anna is in Anna is outside her room. Okay, very good. In number two. The number two, the words are will we get energy the sun from? Our answer is we will we will Get energy from the sun. Very good, group two. And the last group, we have Liam. Liam's group. Okay, teacher. The number one words are many found zoo at the animals. Our answer, teacher, many animals found at the zoo. And the next number two. Number two, the words are in the market, my mother bought my vegetables. Our answer, my mother bought vegetables in the market. Very good. I think you all understand our lesson for today. Okay, so for your evaluation, um, you get one half cross wise paper. You have already right now your paper. All you have to do is to underline the adverb of place in each sentence. We have number one, the cat is hiding underneath the couch. Number two, Rico feels comfortable studying at his room. Number three, Alicia went to Tagum City yesterday. For number four, Panas Waterfalls is located at New Corella Davao del Norte. For number five, President Rodrigo Duterte is staying at Malacanang Palace. Okay, please copy and answer. And after you answer, you uh, pass your paper in our um, Google Classroom. Okay? Okay, I think we are done answering. Let's go to your assignment. Okay, for your assignment, use one half crosswise paper. Compose a uh, compose um compose an essay regarding your childhood experience with the use of adverb of place and encircle the adverb of place. 
each plural, plural nouns corresponds to points. Okay? Did you copy all your assignments? Copy first? Yes, teacher. Okay, are you done? Yes, teacher. Okay, so Not that... Yet, teacher. Okay, so that will be our topic for today. I hope you understand and learn something today. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see you tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Goodbye, grateful pupils. Bye. Bye. Bye.